同桌一大堆的贡品，就是家家户户都必须得备的。然后咱们会把全家人都叫在一起，有多少人叫多少人，一起在家，嗯、呃，吃一个团圆饭。还有特别注意的是，必须把那个西瓜，嗯、呃，那割成那个莲花状的。老年人说，说是那个东西好像是给嫦娥做的。For many locals, the altar for the moon symbolizes the hopes for the coming year, and nothing must be missing from the offerings. Another essential part of the celebrations is the stacking up of coals for the flourishing fire. This activity is usually held during the spring festival, implying luck for the year ahead. But here, it's the mid-autumn festival, Flourishing Fire, that carries the most significance. Everyone admires tonight's bright moon, but nobody knows my heart on this autumn day. <laughs> As the sun begins to rise, Beijing starts to come to life. Beifengxiang Alley is considered a typical example of traditional community life and is little known to outsiders. Deep inside this alley is a well-known roast duck restaurant. Zhang Lichuan is the owner of the restaurant. Every day, he goes to the market to buy ingredients. Today is the mid-autumn festival. His task is harder than usual. It's night, and Beifengxiang Alley is still filled with people. On mid-autumn festival, the restaurant is busy from noon to evening. The employees do not get a chance to rest, but they're used to it. Most of them have been working here for more than 20 years. When the restaurant closes at 10 p.m., they begin to prepare their own family dinner. Jiang Lichun considers the employees as part of the family. Many of them are the children of the villagers Jiang Lichun knew in northern Shanxi. Jiang Lichun once said that his greatest achievement since starting his own business in 1990 was providing people from rural areas and poor families a chance to settle down and pursue their dreams in Beijing.